Chat, here we go. It is the West Final. Who is going to be the player to represent the West in the Ultimate Grand Final? And who is going to walk away with a thousand dollars in their pocket guaranteed? They might be able to get a thousand more if they can beat the representative from the East. But if you're tuning in just for the biggest match over here in the West, then you might be wondering why 20 minutes on the clock? I don't understand. 20 minutes. And the reality is that has been the format of the madness. One single game. Not a best of series, but instead play all the games at once in a continuous format. These players can take a break if they want. They can take a timeout for two minutes after any goal is scored. After any goal is scored, they can use a timeout. We've seen them most often used in the last five minutes, but they can use it at any moment before as well. Now, one more caveat for our best of one is that you have to keep it close. I don't think it's going to be an issue here in Diaz versus Wavy. But if the series gets out of hand and somebody gets a 15 goal lead on the other player, it will end right then and there. So far, the biggest lead we've seen in the first 45 seconds is one. And that one has already been erased as Diaz is able to equalize. He loves his Kachow goal explosion and chat seems to love it too. As Diaz has been playing this, I think in a more unique way than we see everybody else. Wavy, I feel like he's almost just playing this like he does any 1v1, but it takes a long time to reach the end. Diaz has very intentionally thrown in some time-wasting strategies. I think that if you ask the viewers, they'd probably say it comes from a level of confidence in his matchups that he had previously, where he doesn't think he needs to run the score up as much as he otherwise would in a closer matchup. Sometimes it's left it close, but for the most part, he's found his way to the grand final all the same. Now, will he take that risk against Wavy? Some people are talking about the fact that Diaz, I think, won the most recent matchup against Wavy, but the series all-time between them is actually in favor of Wavy. It's 2-1 Wavy, so he has a decent matchup. In the most important game these guys have played against each other, deep in the salt line, it was a 4-0 for Wavy in a best of seven. Now, he will actually be playing four games, just like he did in that matchup. He'll play 20 minutes of Rocket League. So if he can come out on top in the first 20 minutes, he's going to net himself $1,000 richer. Diaz is playing from Brazil for anybody who doesn't know about how the Brazilians play in these US East tournaments. He's got 116 ping, and he just plays in it like it doesn't matter. Now, it is a disadvantage, and it'd be silly to suggest otherwise. Some people have done so <laughs> when, like, Middle East players have dominated in the EU um, or even South Americans in the U.S. East. The Copium has come out saying, oh, no, somehow it's an advantage, which is, of course, a ridiculous thing to suggest. It is definitely just a disadvantage. Diaz is able to fight through it and get himself a 4-2 lead. The predictions are kind of open still. Well, it's been a pretty close start, but we will end submissions now as chat. Maybe, I don't know if anyone really dumped too many points in the first couple minutes here. I think Diaz already had the edge as Wavy just barely not getting that demo. Now, gonna take a dribble. The flick is just enough. What mattered more was getting it up quickly than it mattered to get a ton of power, and that's what he did. Get it over the top with Diaz. Diaz was your guys' number one seed, and Wavy was your number two. You guys said the seeded the bracket. That's right. If you're here in chat and you don't like the seeds, then it was your own fault as Diaz taps this one around Wavy to re-extend the lead to two. Kickoffs that are one into the back corner for Diaz are oftentimes as easy as free goals, it would seem. Why not do 10 minutes on North America and 10 minutes on South America? You know, an interesting question and one that any reasonable person who is looking at this matchup might ask themselves. But the reality is, Diaz, a guy from South America, frequently cues US East for ranked. Um, it just, I think most South Americans do. And especially in ones. I mean, in ones you have to if you want to get games. And Diaz is a high rated ones player. Which means Diaz is actually quite used to it, despite it being a disadvantage. Where in the case of Wavy, a you know fat cat sitting on his US East ping, he never has to queue anything but US East. He can just sit there and queue US East all day 
And so he would not be prepared for a 116 ping lobby. And also isn't necessarily a complete swap back over if we hop over to Sam servers. Uh, so in this context, it would be much more of a disadvantage for Wavy than it is for Diaz right now. Don't get me wrong. I'm still saying it is a disadvantage for Diaz. It is for every South American player who plays on US East. It's just slightly less so because they practiced it. And all the US East players have not practiced it at all. The EU players as well also no practice like on Mina servers for when the Mina players play. Also, I think the EU connection to Mina is just for some reason miserable. Nowhere near as good as the opposite direction. Diaz going to get this air dribble and tap it over the top of Wavy near the goal line. Making sure to get that final touch only after Wavy has jumped and committed to his angle. Diaz, another full field dribble this time. Wavy off the ceiling. Couldn't get to Diaz in time. He needs to double. He didn't have a ton of boost left over to get it, but he still will. As Wavy looking for answers here in a tough matchup against Diaz. He actually challenged slightly out to the midfield or slightly attacking. I wonder if he had changed that angle slightly off the ceiling if he could have maybe connected. A bit too aggressive with his ceiling challenge this time. And now a flick from Diaz. He will get a soft touch. He does not get a follow-up goal. He tried to play it a little bit cheekier. I mean, I think he maybe had no choice but to get that soft of a touch. He didn't have a great position and a ton of boost. And Wavy will find his way back. Good on him to not give up. But Diaz will get his goal all the same as he takes this one off the side wall. And just as Wavy creeps past the near post, he drops it behind him. Diaz. Little camera check to go grab the boost. Wavy says, I'll take the goal. A trade I'm sure he'll take every time. As we approach the end of the first five minutes. Diaz. A kickoff win with the ball into the blue half. So not a clean wall to air dribble setup like he's used to. Instead, he brings it down to the ground. Goes for the power shot. Wavy just barely able to evade Diaz pixels off his car. Now Diaz up the side wall. Sees Wavy looking to challenge on the side wall. So he got a lot of power on the first touch as a way to break out ahead of him and see if he can't beat him to the back wall and get the double. But Wavy did find his way back, got the save. Now, let's tie the game. Wavy in control of this kickoff. As he tries to take the lead, it's been Diaz who has been re-extending the lead every time he's had the opportunity. That is going to be a ninth goal with four seconds left in the first five minutes. So, a theoretical game one win may be coming here for Diaz. Yes, flick over the top, a zero seconder, you could argue. But now a two goal lead. Chat, are you thinking of words that rhyme with fear? You know it doesn't have to have two E's to rhyme. Wavy, direct kickoff goal. Mirror and fear? I don't know, that's, that's a bit of a stretch, first time chatter. Souvenir. <laughs> That's a good one. <laughs> All right. I don't know why I'm entertaining you guys. Maybe because it's the madness. As Diaz able to grab the midfield boost. Has to risk a strong touch towards his back wall, but he knows he's not going to hit it in his nets. As Wavy, though, is able to intercept this setup and will tap one in for a clean 10-10 scoreline. I think chat... Earlier in the tournament, desperately wanted an 11-11 at 11-11. I don't think we're going to see that. In the book still is probably 12-12 at 12-12, though. Wavy, he's doing such a good job at returning to the play. I actually thought Diaz had the save. 
when it seems like Wavy is retreating, and Diaz can take away a possession for free or is going to be, you know, unable to get one. He's been creeping out to the midfield and Wavy's doing a good job of catching and cutting back in. All of a sudden, Diaz is too deep. We do need Diaz to score to get our 12-12 at 12-12. Diaz, air dribble resets, not directly on target, so that means his reset will have to be used. Diaz, a guy who loves to fake on his air dribbles as well, will not be able to whenever he sets up the first touch away. Wavy is going to waste some time, but not too much. He does see Diaz on his way back. Wavy did waste a full minute against Wisty to start his series before tapping in the very first goal. But we're either going to need to see a ton of goals in very little time to get 13-13-13. Or it's going to have to be 12-12-12. Diaz gets us one step closer. Kachow indeed as Wavy decides to back off into the back corner and the hook shots get sent over the top. Wave dash kickoff for Wavy. He's got himself a clean possession. He's going to dash back to the ball. Playing it slowly to try and bait Diaz in using that wave dash late. And Diaz, wall dash, set up off the back wall. Seems like he's just going for speed and figure it out later, but he flipped around the ball. And now the 12 12 at 12 12 dream is over. In fact, I think all of the sets of numbers are now officially over, and you have Wavy to blame. Wavy, another kickoff, and another goal as he's able to convert 14 11. Diaz trying to shadow and stop these flicks, but haven't been able to. Wait, 11, 12, 13, 14. Wait, that's a pretty good one. That one's still available. 11, 12, 13, 14. It needs to be a ton of midfield play, though, to make it happen. We don't need that, that much more midfield play. This demo, now an air dribble. This is just going to be a goal, though. Yeah, Diaz just scores. So there it goes. 11, 12, 13, 14, gone. As Diaz, it's a nice demo to air dribble. 12-12, 14-14 is not bad, but come on, we're, we're reaching a little bit. And in fact, we might not even get that. <laughs> Diaz <laughs> able to score. Wavy. Forced into the back corner. Diaz going to play it to the side wall. Attempt to buy himself time to grab boost, which he does. Grabs the midfield and back corner. And now he's able to turn on the play before Wavy really able to get anything going. If you could put it high enough, it's awkward and tough to set up a play from. Anyways, Wavy just going to bump Diaz out of this world. And even though he doesn't have boost, it's just going to be no issue to get this goal. 13, 9, 3, 15. Okay, you're just, what is that? That's nothing. <laughs> I don't know numbers. <laughs> 22-22 at 0-2-0-2. Diaz is air dribble 50 denied. As he's sent back, and I think Wavy just set him up for a hook shot. Yeah, there's not going to be no recovery there. ka -chow! indeed. I think we've seen leads from both players. We saw... Maybe a two, maybe three goal lead for Diaz. Same for Wavy, as he has had his a little bit more recently. A minute 32 from halftime in this 20 minute match. As Wavy will flick and score. Do I host freestyle show matches? I've done a couple freestyle things in the past. Wavy, after winning the kickoff, 
decided to just try and force it down center field with zero boost. Diaz able to challenge and send him to the back wall. Where he eventually does get his possession. Now Diaz just got beat out as he flies underneath the play in this corner. And this is one of the biggest leads we've seen. 17-14. EU will be Thursday, 6 p.m. Central European time, if you're ready to see when that half of the bracket will be played. Diaz resets, threatening that top left corner, or he could also land and go low. I mean, when, when Diaz gets the right setup, he is a menace. And especially with Wavy turning in towards the midfield to start off that setup in the corner, he is going to be recovering really late. What time is that in Freedom? In Freedom, it's 2 p.m. Eastern. Diaz going to waltz this one in after Wavy dove off the kickoff with zero boost. He was looking to try and dunk a dribble setup, but it's not what Diaz did. He, or sorry, a carry setup, I should say. So Diaz popped it out to the midfield. Diaz wants the demo. Wavy able to dodge it and pin the ball in the process, but it's still going to be a Diaz dribble. An air dribble bump. Wavy gets around it. And Diaz will reset. Diaz does not mind having to go again on his attacks. He often falls back to the back wall. This time doesn't go for a dribble though, brings it to the ground. Wavy just gonna take it away and just score. So Diaz maybe never deciding what he wanted to do here. I thought Wavy was gonna be fake challenging because he just did not react to that challenge at all. If he knew Wavy was gonna dive, he probably gets up to protect the ball or shoot it around him, of course. He gets up early enough. Kickoff goal though for Diaz as we're just about Two games through. Eight seconds off of that. Will it be a tie game at that point? And will Wavy be able to hold the lead? Diaz. A powerful touch. He knows that he's going to get boost. And therefore, he can use said boost to be the first one back to the ball. Wavy will just boom it in. So just about perfectly at halftime. We are at a tie game. 18-18. 22-22 at 222. Looking good? I don't think so. I think... 22-22, it's going to be more than that. I feel like they've been scoring more than that. Maybe I'm wrong. Diaz gets his air dribble intercepted this time. Wavy, let me find a way to work with it. He will steal the back corner. Wavy now. A couple touches on the carry to try and take it straight down the center of the field to the net. Wavy... Can't finish it off. Diaz does stop him. Now a demo. A ton of space. Wavy to the backboard. His double does not connect. I think it's time, after getting to halftime, to start thinking about who would play better with the timeout. Because these players, it doesn't seem like they think about it too hard or maybe don't recognize when their play is slipping slightly. But I do think Diaz's play style, if I had to, to guess, is more rejuvenated by a timeout. Maybe you guys have different opinions, but I think the way Diaz plays, if he's able to take a slight break, I feel like he's going to come back with a lot more heat. This double off the side wall gives him the lead, though. So because the game has been so close, I think the players have just been thinking, you know, nothing's out of hand yet. I don't need to call a timeout. Maybe there's more to gain from a little break, even if you aren't necessarily losing. Wavy tried to go in and out of the net on this save, but Diaz able to get it past him. So now it's time to start talking about a potential Wavy timeout after having a solid lead. It's a few straight for Diaz. Wavy grabbed the midfield. Diaz diving on the ball right away. Couldn't really allow Wavy to get anything going, but he saw an opportunity. Diaz let it slip. In his effort to play quick and stay on the ball, he had to dodge a demo, get this touch. He was going to try and flip and be right where the ball landed, but there was a moment to take the shot, and that's when Wavy was there to take it.
is guiding this one to the ceiling. Wavy is going to try and put it on. Diaz makes the save. It's awkward, but the shot is slow, so he's able to. He's going to push this past Wavy, and it's a 21-19. Chat wanted 22-22 at 222, but they are getting there too quickly for that to be possible. Diaz. Air dribble uses the resets. And gets himself a goal. He is a mechie player. And when he's able to play these, he can score on just about anybody. Diaz not going to be able to stop this one. It's been just kickoff trades back and forth. Got from Diaz. Into the back corner. Instantly cut off by Wavy before the midfield line. Wavy gets this one around. Diaz can get around for the shot. Diaz does recover and actually gets his own back corner boost. So Wavy will likely have to leave. I'm actually surprised he even took that one more ring around the rosy near the ball. Actually, he's even trying to stay on it still. He'll leave now, all the way to the back corner with zero. Diaz's dribble gets denied. But the recovery is good enough to prevent the quick shot. In fact, Diaz back on the ball, relentless. Will steal the back corner again. Wavy, one boost to work with. Make it 15 after picking up a pad. Diaz is just starving him out. He hasn't had boost for what feels like minutes, but he's done enough to keep Diaz from scoring. Diaz now playing a little bit of that time wasting that he's done in the past. Only up two, and yet still does not want to force the issue. He's more than willing to just reset over and over again on his back wall. Did he just catch Diaz playing over aggressive? He might have. 23-20. Six minutes and 18 seconds left. Diaz. Flick. Intercepted by Wavy. Now this one rolling to the back wall. This is Diaz's favorite position when he's playing in a regular game, but how can he do it when he is 15 minutes into a 1v1? A 14 minutes, I guess, but... Still, the mind has to be deteriorating a little bit as neither one of these guys look to use a timeout. The midfield play almost seems to accentuate it even more when neither one of them have a chance to reset on a kickoff. Kick off for Wavy. Still able to get his goal. Diaz bumping him from behind. We are approaching the final five minutes again. And it looks like it might be tied as we get there. Oh, everyone's bummed because Diaz got a 23rd goal. They're going to have to hold out for a really long time. Did I? Oh, you guys are you guys are yelling timeout. You can't do that to me. <laughs> I've missed a timeout in the past, but I, neither one of these guys said timeout. You can't be spamming timeout in chat. Diaz is going to make it 24. Remind them? I don't want to remind them. I don't want to suggest that they should take a timeout. They know. They've been playing this format. If they want to take it, they can. It could be a good idea. But so far, they have declined to. You speak on behalf of the entire chat when you say change the time limit to 40 minutes. I think the players might die. Diaz, does he still have the mechs on a full field dribble? He wants to double. It's denied by Wavy. And Wavy is down two right now. So that's a huge save. Wavy. Oh, Diaz missing the wave dash. Is that fatigue setting in? If it is, 
It's not something he's trying to cure with a timeout. <laughs> they do have him. Like I said, I will not be mentioning in chat, though. They can decide if they want to use him or not. He has Wave Dash. Throws it directly at Wavy. Now he's going to try and take it into the back wall where he has loved to go. He likes to extend possessions. Now he's going to start a dribble off of the bounce off the back wall. Has a reset. All of his boosts used. Doesn't get the shot. Wavy now has a great boost advantage. Ardia has just reset on the midfield 100, so he's in good shape now. Diaz pinches his high. Wavy pre-flip out to the ball. First touch. Can he get the 50? No. Sent hard off the back wall, which means Diaz is a very likely counterattack. This touch isn't on target, though. Can he follow it up? Wavy has returned to make the potential save, and he'll do just that as he taps the ball away. Now Diaz. Going to have a possession here into the back corner. Another full field dribble. This one, not as high as the last, will drop early. Maybe bumped out of being on the correct side of the ball, so forced to reset. Diaz will boom one on target, and it's a two-goal lead with 324. Again, neither one of these guys going to the timeouts. They want to power their way through. Diaz, wave dashing in the corner. Another reset as Wavy does his best to try and get involved in the play. But the story of the tournament so far has been Diaz dictating the pace and seemingly being able to just maintain possession for as long as he wants. Diaz, that's an own goal. <laughs> well, I mean, I don't know if maybe a timeout could make sense when you're booming own goals, but Diaz is not going to call one. Maybe he didn't have a choice. He might not have been able to get around it. Watching it back, it did look like maybe he wasn't going to get around it. Although I think it was off target. I don't know. I'm, I'm lost here too. Can't remember more than 30 seconds ago in this 20-minute match. Diaz taking this to the opposite corner. It would catch this ball falling out of the air, but it cost him a lot of boost to do so. Wavy. Gonna let it drop. Wants a low 50. Diaz covers it. Down one for Wavy as we approach the final two minutes. Diaz does not allow the dunk to go in. Wavy trying to chase a little bump. Doesn't get it. Does get the boost steal though. So Diaz on very little. Wavy will tie the game. 25-25 with two minutes on the clock. Wavy took a second to skip there. Thought there was a chance we could maybe see a timeout, but no. This guy's back into it. Diaz still playing it slow. This time trying to bait Wavy out of position before starting his dribble. This one's going to boom to the back wall. Wavy on zero boost tries to catch and cut to see if he can catch Diaz off guard. Air dribble lean back 50. Nothing comes of it. Will the next goal decide who gets to dictate the rest of the game? Diaz pop over the top of Wavy and he has a 26-25 lead with a minute 19 left to go. Wavy a second there to skip the replay, but he does take it. And we will continue on. Wavy, flick. Diaz able to make the save as he catches and turns this around. One minute on the clock. Diaz up one. Wavy demoed. Diaz, can he get this on target in time? He's trying to go bottom left corner. Pre-flip save from Wavy. 40 seconds left to go. $1,000 on the line. Wavy. Can't get back. Diaz 
now. One ghoul lead with 30 seconds left to go. Pre-flip to carry this one. Can he get it on target? Has the resets. Doesn't get a shot out of it. Hook shot from Wavy. It's off. Bouncing off the back wall. Diaz able to guide it. He's going to be able to reset on 100 boosts. This might be Wavy's last chance with 10 seconds left to go. Diaz backflip. Denies it. Can he get another shot? He will. Diaz very likely securing the game with four seconds left to go. And that's the GG's. There it is. Oh my goodness. That was an ale biter. And Diaz in the final moments able to extend it and get the win. Your $1,000 West final winner, Diaz. Oh my goodness, chat. I think ads are going to play. Just so you know, they were coming up there at the end. I was actually sweating about it. <laughs> I was sweating about it big time. We desperately needed a timeout. Can I tell you a little behind the scenes? <laughs> Boy, did we need a timeout. I just needed one of those guys to call timeout. Because we did not get ahead enough on ads. <laughs> I thought they were about to happen right at zero seconds. <laughs> oh my goodness.